Good morning, LCDO Supper School. I want to show you quickly how to fill out a March Mammal Madness bracket this year, 2021. Once you download the PDF into Notability, uh, the first thing I want you to do is write your name up in the top. So please write your name here. All right, and then what you need to do is look at these lists of animals um, that are on either margin of this page. They represent all the matchups that are going to occur in this March Madness event. They're always listed in pairs. So for instance, here you see a dugong that will be matched up with a colo colo opossum. And next to their names is a ranking. It's also called a seed. And it tells you, given what uh, those animals are, what the probability is that they're going to win. So clearly the dugong has a better chance of winning than the colo colo opossum. It's ranked much higher than the other. But that is not a certainty, so though it is more likely for the dugong to win, it is by no means sure that it will. That becomes particularly noticeable when the rankings are very close to one another. Uh, small elements of chance or differences in the field or prior injuries which are carried forward can affect who's going to win in those matchups. So say I, I predict that the dugong will win based on having read about it and knowing something about its biology, I would write the number one here. And in this math matchup between the musk deer and the aodet, um, I might say that the musk deer would win. What I do is I write the numbers representing who I think would win in those matches. And I keep filling numbers through this entire column. Then I decide that what will happen in the second round is that there will be a matchup between that winner, the dugong, and the musk deer. And I have to imagine what would happen if those two were on the field together, what would happen? The higher ranked individual has the home field advantage. So this event would happen where the dugong lives. And so then you would have to decide who's going to win in that matchup and write the number here. You do that for every pair so that eventually you have matchups that work all the way to the top. And this individual here is the winner of the entire Trixie taxonomy group. What will happen is that you'll eventually have winners for every set and they will meet in a final roar competition and in that final roar competition you will list your winner of each final roar the final roar round here so there'll be a winner here and a winner here the championship competition is between this winner and this winner, and here is where you write the name of your champion. So if you think the dugong is going to win it all, dugong, you write the dugong here. Okay? And that puts you on Team Dugong. Okay? There's one strange early match, and that is between the southern redback vole and the Hopi chipmunk. They are a wild card race that happens very early. In fact, it's the first competition to occur, and it allows them to play here in the red fur competition. Okay, uh, that's all there is to it. There are different points attributed for good choices in each round. The scoring system is here, and you will get scored. The student with the highest score wins the competition. All right, good luck to you, and that is the entire event.